Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up the C++ development environment on your Atom editor. So I'm going to go step by step. So first of all, I'm going to show you how you can download the MinGW compiler. We are going to see this demonstration using MinGW compiler. And then I'm going to show you how we can uh, download and install uh, Atom. And then I'm going to show you how you can integrate both of them to develop your first C++ program. So first of all, we are going to download and install the MinGW compiler. So I'm going to show you how you can download it. You just need to uh, search for MinGW here and the first link which will appear here will be from MinGW.org. And when you open that uh, website, it's going to show you this kind of website. We just need to go to the downloads uh, tab here. So just click on the downloads tab. And once you click on the download tab, you will be redirected to the sourceforge.net website, which hosts the MinGW exe file. And then uh, we are going to just click on this uh, green button, which says MinGW get setup.exe file. So I'm going to just click on this. So now I can see the download has been started and already finished. So I'm going to click on this uh, MinGW get setup.exe file and I'm going to minimize the browser. And now you can see the MinGW installer manager setup tool has been started. So first of all, we will just say install. And this is the default location where MinGW will be installed. So I don't want to change it. So I will leave it as default and say continue. And then it's going to start the download of uh, the installer itself. And then it's going to ask us to install some packages. So I'm going to wait for some time until this download is finished. So once this step is complete, we will see this continue button is activated. So I'm going to click on this continue button, which is going to just uh, start the MinGW installation manager, okay? And it's going to show us uh, these uh, options. You can see here, it's going to show us uh, these options. And these options are MinGW developer tool, MinGW32 base, and then GCC, and GCC Fortin, GCC for G++, which is for C++, and uh, other uh, MinGW related packages. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on every uh, package and I'm going to say mark for installation. So one by one, I'm going to just say mark for installation for all the packages. And once you are done uh, with this uh, marking for the checkboxes, you go to the installation on the left hand top side and then just say apply changes okay so just say apply changes which is going to start the installation of uh, all these packages okay so this may uh, take some time so you can see it's uh, asking us to proceed so it says okay to proceed we will say apply which is going to just start the installation of all these packages so now all the min gw packages are installed and i can see this message which says all changes were applied successfully you may now close the dialog so i'm going to just close this dialog and you can see everything is green in my case so i'm going to just close this installer also and just for checking i will just uh, open my folder explorer and here in the c directory i'm going to just uh, check whether mingw directory is there or not. So you can see mingw directory is created for us, right? So I'm going to just go inside this directory and I'm going to go inside bin folder inside this mingw directory. And I'm going to copy this uh, path and I'm going to add it to my environment variable. So just copy uh, this path up to bin and then right click on your start button here and then just search for system. So just click on system here. And once this system window opens, you just need to go to advanced system settings and then environment variables. And then just choose the path environment variable in system variables. And then either double click on it or just click edit. And then we are going to add a new 
variable and then just paste this path which is c colon backslash mingw backslash uh, bin right and i'm going to just click ok and then ok and then ok and i'm going to close this window and then i'm going to minimize this folder also now the next step is to check whether mingw is working so i'm going to just open my command prompt so right click on your uh, windows button once again and then no, just click command prompt and in here we are going to check the version of g plus plus so just write g plus plus minus minus version and then press enter which is going to give you the version of uh, g plus plus in our case we have uh, installed gcc version 6.3.0 minus one okay basically it's 6.3.0 so g plus plus is working fine on our uh, windows operating system now once you have the min gw compiler installed and you have set up the environment variable for min gw now we are ready to install the atom editor so just to open your favorite browser and search for atom editor and the first link which will appear here will be from atom.io so i'm going to click this link and once this website opens you will see the downloads button on the home page of uh, this website which is this button which says download windows 64 installer i'm going to just click on this button which is going to download the executable file for atom editor right so i'm going to uh, let it download it's about 132 megabyte file so it will take uh, one to two minutes to download and once it's downloaded we are going to see how to install it so now this executable file is downloaded on our system so i'm going to click on this executable file and i'm going to minimize the browser and now you can see the installation has been started so you don't need to do anything to install uh, atom editor you just need to click on the executable file and just wait for the installation to be done and once the installation is complete uh, atom editor is going to launch automatically and this is the first uh, uh, message which you will see here. I'm going to say no for now. And let me maximize uh, the Atom editor. And now to support C++ development, what you need to do is you need to uh, click on this option which says install a package. You can also uh, press Control Shift P to uh, just open this kind of uh, interface. And then you can just say install uh, packages and themes and then uh, you will uh, see the same interface okay so i either click on install uh, packages and themes from here or otherwise you just need to click on uh, the install packages option on the welcome window okay so let me just close uh, the other windows here so uh, this settings window will be uh, in the full screen so in the install packages what you need to do is you need to search for gpp compiler so search for uh, this package which is called uh, gpp compiler and it's going to search for uh, this package and you can see this is the package which i'm talking about and you can see the description uh, it's for compile and run c and c plus plus within atom okay and uh, around 130 uh, downloads has been uh, completed for this package so i'm going to just click on this install uh, button which is going to install this package on our atom editor and once the installation is finished we are going to write our first uh, c++ code or c code whatever you want to write and we will compile it so just wait for the installation to complete and now the package is installed on our uh, atom editor so i'm going to just close this settings uh, window and what i'm going to do is i'm going to open a new folder for example so i'm going to just uh, go here and uh, then i will just say open folder and, and now i'm going to just uh, create a new folder in order to uh, just to open this folder inside atom so i'm going to name it as cpp and then i'm going to select this folder it's going to open this folder inside atom and now to create a new uh, c++ file i'm going to right click here and then uh, i'm going to just uh, choose the first option which says new file 
and then I'm going to name my file as main.cpp or whatever you want to name your file and then press enter is going to uh, create the main.cpp file okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, write our first uh, C++ uh, program on uh, Atom Editor so I'm going to just say include IO stream and then uh, I'm going to just write int main and then these parentheses and the curly bracket and I'm going to return zero here and then I'm going to just print uh, hello world so std c out and then let's print uh, hello world and then I'm going to just add uh, std end line so endl okay so this is our very simple uh, C++ program and once you have finished writing your code what you can do is you can either press F5 to uh, compile and run your code or you can right click on the same uh, window or same uh, you know file so right click on the file and you will find this option which says compile and run okay and the F6 op option is to compile and debug. So right now we just want to compile and run our code. So we will choose this option which says uh, compile and run. And if you want to debug your uh, code, you can just choose the F6 option or compile and debug option. And then if everything works fine, you will see this kind of terminal and your output will be shown here which is hello world in my case right let's say uh, there is some mistake or there is some compilation error in the code so this uh, doesn't exist right now for example and I'm going to compile my code what it says is uh, the compilation error so you can see ENDL is uh, not a valid uh, you know code so I'm going to once again uh, correct my code and once again run the code and uh, it's going to uh, you know run it once again right and if you want to debug your code you can just right click and uh, you can choose this option which says compile and debug or press f6 in your case and you can see uh, you will see this kind of option which is for uh, debugging your code so this is a gdb command if you are familiar with uh, the gdb terminal commands you can also debug your C++ code for any errors, right? So in this way, you can set up your Atom Editor for the C and C++ development. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and bye for now.